Nick Cannon has confirmed what Entertainment City first told you on Wednesday. He and Mariah Carey are having marriage problems, but don't expect to hear any more details from him. Cannon told the insider that he and his wife of six years have been living apart for a few months. While he made it clear infidelity is not to blame, we're not likely to hear any more specifics from Cannon. Reports say the couple has a confidentiality agreement as part of their impending divorce that bars Cannon from revealing details while giving Carrie the right to announce the split on her terms. Wherever Justin Bieber goes, legal woes seem to follow. Now his entourage has been accused of bribing a Canadian border official. A female officer at the Niagara Falls border has been fired for allegedly accepting the bribe from Bieber's camp in exchange for allowing two American members of his posse with criminal records to enter Canada. Rumor has it Bieber's people gave her $10,000 worth of backstage passes. It's unclear when the alleged bribery happened. Makes me want Someone who's not having legal problems, Scott Weiland, the former Stone Temple Pilots frontman, was reportedly arrested for shoplifting and drug possession and has been behind bars since late July, except he hasn't. I've actually been touring, writing, and recording my new album. Turns out the man who was busted identified himself as Weiland and was booked by police as the rocker. He has since been properly identified. P.K. Subban, he scores! With the upcoming hockey season less than two months away, players sharpen their skills at this year's BioSteel tournament. Entertainment City caught up with some familiar faces off the ice, including NHL fashion favorite P.K. Subban's younger brothers, who spilled some surprising deets on P.K.'s style secrets. Have you seen the way he dresses on the street? There's no way he picked other suits. So he's got a couple of nice suits. Uh, I like to think I got a couple of nice ones too. Walter Gretzky, father to the great one, stepped away from hockey talk to open up about his granddaughter Paulina's fiance, pro golfer Dustin Johnson. Earlier this year, Johnson took a voluntary leave of absence from the PGA Tour with rumors drug use was to blame. However, Paulina's grandfather appears to have a positive impression. He's a wonderful person, very giving. So that's wonderful. Remember, Rogers is your source for all things NHL. It's been nearly a decade since we were first taken to Frank Miller's Sin City. Now we're invited back in a dame to kill for. Our Brad Smith sat down with the film stars. Don't avenge me, Nancy. It'll be the death of you. Don't worry. What's your favorite part about Nancy? I loved how she goes into this kind of emotional, uh, you know, downspin, and, and she's a mess. And I loved playing the crazy, and then I loved being this really, like, powerful warrior. It's great to play a Robert Rodriguez, Frank Miller created a character. It's like suddenly you show up and you've seen it's all green screen, and you're like, okay, what am I going to do here? I'm not used to this. And action. <sighs> <sighs> you have to use a lot of your imagination. You really have to connect so much uh, in, in with the character, and, and the performance is everything. Right. You can't rely on, on a prop or a world to distract you. Who wants to play? Dane to Kill For hits theaters today. Will you be watching it? Tweet us at Ant City. Oh.